Let the rhyme style games begin. And we're back. All right, folks. Uh, I'm still dancing. I haven't stopped dancing at all since last time because my character is still excited that he's get, he gets to play through the story again. So let's go ahead and just jump right into it by going to the first um, part of the game and stuff. Um, prologue. Should we even do the prologue? Yeah, let's do the prologue. Why not? Because it's part of it. Here we go. Now, if you're new to this, uh, the reason I'm re replaying ZRS as a campaign is because I never actually finished it on my channel. And I figured, you know what? Uh, since I have a Let's Play channel, let's do it right now. So that's why we're doing this. Today, and the oncoming weeks and stuff. Oh, the crack of time. Here we go. Let me turn up my TV so I can hear the stuff. I do have to admit that Xenor is probably my favorite story mode uh, aspect of any Dragon Ball Z game. Oh my god, this part. Come on, Frieza! Let's do this. So I got Super Saiyan, Super Kami, huh? Buying time. Uh, uh, oh, I did connect. Good old Xenoverse, right? Take the Kami out to the face. Here we go. I've heard about enough from you. I'll end this now. You, you gotta admit that freaking prologue in this game was freaking awesome. And the Super Kami out to finish him off. Hey, you moved. Wait, I just realized I have infinite key. Whatever. Frieza has been defeated. Just let him fall into the lava. Alright. I forgot it was a low screen between, so I thought it immediately switches, but whatever. Alright, first fight down. Hey, Lameo! Moving on to the Cell Saga. You know what's interesting about this uh, prologue is the fact that you play as Goku in all these fights. Because you never play as Goku ever again in the story mode. It's just all about your character. So it's like, it's not about Goku, it's about you. It's a transmission. It's a transmission. I also find it funny that they never had a uh, freaking um, warp coming on me until now, because it was like a DLC three uh, attack. So much more fun when the contestants are there. It is. Yeah. Yeah. I think so too. There's a transmission behind them. Hey, come on! Why does it never connect? Why does it not do it right? Yeah, look, it never connects. Did it break it? Break it. There it is. Another instant transmission Kamehameha. It's my version of the warp Kamehameha. He's not defeated yet. Not yet. Hey, he's out, technically. I win the fight. All right, going into the Kid Buu Saga. Here we go. Or I guess the Buu Saga. I would say Kid Buu Saga because Kid Buu was like the final boss. The final villain, I guess, of that saga. All right, Kid Buu. Let's go Super Sandwich 3 in this bitch. All right. I better start fighting with everything I've got. If we lose, this whole universe is going to be torn to bits. You know what, if you really think about it, Kid Buu's a dick. What a strange guy. I also feel like this fight should be a lot more tougher, because like later these fights get pretty insane. And one more Super Kami around to finish it off. And of course it didn't connect. I just do it like this. Yay! Did I really just like instant transmission in front of him? Like I didn't actually even move, I was in the same freaking spot. Come at me, bro. Alright. So that should be the beginning of the prologue. And this is the part where, where um, Trunks whines about, Oh my god, the, the, the crack of time is broken, blah blah. History is changing. The flow of time. Something's very odd about it. At this rate, history. No. Everything will collapse. 
And that's why you don't time travel, folks. You'll break the time. Or something. Let's just jump past this, actually, because I can't actually use that in my video, because, uh, copyright. Someone summoned you from a land far away. Brave warrior, now come forth. You know, they do a really good way introducing your character in this game. It's like, yeah, we summoned Shenron and basically had him teleport you from wherever you exist. So I do like how to introduce your character. But let's just jump right into the Sand Saga. And today's entire video will be around uh, fighting Raditz. Um, I think that would be a good way, good stopping point. I think the way I'll structure these videos is they'll be uh, based around uh, each saga. Maybe two videos per saga or something like that. Man, I look really menacing with my lipstick. Just gotta say that. Wait, so do, I do still fight trunks, don't I? Farewell. Okay, bye. You know, I'm curious to know how strong my character actually is, because the only thing that sucks about this game is there's no real uh there's no real uh power scale there i'll have to explain it all to you later for now let's see how much power you have all right trunks was fight what i mean by there's no power scale i mean like for example like i'll be struggling with captain ginyu in one episode and then two seconds later i'll you know go back to the time nest and go fight someone else now i'm stronger against them so it's like how did the times actually uh Scale. Like, that's the question I have. Come here, Trunks. Like, Trunks right now should be a beast. He should be able to destroy me easily. I don't need the tutorial. Give me all your energy. Here we go. Ooh! Can you not? like the little warm-up is complete. Now, it's about time you showed me your full strength. I have no key at all. Oh my gosh. You want me you want me to show you my full strength? Dude, I'm like literally kicking your ass right now. Oh, messed that up completely. Crush a ball. Wow, I, I completely screwed it up too. Oh, he's beating my ass. There we go. Good old trunks. Taking that whooping. Alright, I forgot how weak you are when you first start this game off. It's actually gonna be interesting. Leveling up and stuff. You were chosen. Chosen by Shinron. Trunks is so cool. Sorry for attacking you, by the way. I'll introduce myself. I'm Trunks, and I'm currently on a mission. A mission to find the best Pokemon cards. It's, it's not the world you're familiar with. This is the Toki Toki world. Where the flow of time gathers. You can call us the Time Patrol. When history goes off course, a false timeline is created. We work to correct any of these changes to history. As Time Patrol members, we'll fight all throughout time. Sometimes, we deal with legendary fighters or dangerous forces. What you think? Would you like to test your power here? See how effective it is? Did we just do that? Oh, right. I should probably explain a few things first. Yeah, I was literally just at Chipotle and you pulled me away from it. You didn't even bring my burrito with me, bro. Look around. In this space, there are many other Time Patrol members. If you'd like, go ahead and talk to them. I'll hear your answer after you've had the chance. You know, I like how he pulls me in and doesn't even bother asking any other time patroller in the world. Like, it's it, it just all about me. It's like, yeah, you know what? This, this guy's good. What about the other ones? In fact, why would you pull in so many time patrollers? And, like, you have so many. Like, why do you pull, you pull so many in? I guess that's the question. The Supreme Kai of Time lives here and manages this entire place. We also have the Time Vault. It has many important texts. There's something I need you to take care of. Not a big deal. So let's head over to the Time Vault. All right. 
Let us get right into the action. Ooh, pretty. What's your favorite races, by the way, in this game? This is the scroll of eternity. All of time, all of history, everything. It's all listed in here. But here, just take a look at this. Oh, the infamous scene. Special beam cannon. <laughs> Seriously, even powered up, Rad should not be that strong. I mean, he's strong against them. But like when I show up, it shouldn't be that difficult to fight those guys. As you can see, if history is in any way altered or distorted, it could change the world as we know it. We have no choice. We have to stop it. We can't let history change. Right now, Goku is in trouble and needs help. Please. I'm on it. I am on it. Don't mind me, I'm also tagging videos uh, or tagging my videos for other uploads while I'm doing this. Multitasking at its best. This is your last chance. Come on, join your family, Kakarot. Look, there we go. You a favor and spare you both. Shut up. There is no way I'd ever join you. Then playtime is over. What? Leave my dad alone. Leave my daddy alone. How did he know? You brat! Stop! How did he know? What? Someone you know, Goku? No. But <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's someone we can trust. You just met him. How do you know you can trust him? All right, here we go. Our first official fight of this playthrough. Let's see what we can do. Let's see what we can expect. I'm like literally multitasking here, folks. I'm like editing, creating a thumbnail, and making this video. The life of rhyme style. All right. Time to kick your ass, Raditz. You know, I wonder if I just get stronger as I fight in this, in this universe. That probably makes the most sense. Why wow, my character is like so badass. Don't be a drag. Can you hear me? Okay, good. Now, I'll be backing you up on the time now. Listen, this Raditz is stronger and cruel than his historical form. Please, I need you to defeat Raditz so Goku and the others can finish him. No problem. I also like how I can't do my ultimates because I don't have three bars. That's funny. Horrible, heartless guy like you is not my brother. I quit. I, I give up. I Wrecked. I love Crush Ball. Crush Ball is awesome. I need to finish him off with Death Beam. There we go. When in doubt, always toss a Death Beam out. It actually kind of rhymed too. Alright, Z rank hype! Let's see if I can like get a bunch of Z ranks uh, throughout this playthrough. What? What are you doing? Now, 
Piccolo! Do it! Special Beam Cannon! Serves you right. Where did he go? What? Where did... You know the funny thing about this entire uh, playthrough is the fact that uh, we're changing history so much every time he shows up, so it shouldn't really make any sense. Like, this shouldn't happen the way it does. You corrected the timeline. Good job. No, I didn't. No side effects either. Like literally, I changed the time by showing up. All right. Once we have the Supreme Kai of Time, put it in a scroll. It'll all be done. Oh, you don't have to worry about Goku. It's fine. He'll be revived with the Dragon Ball. Spoiler alert, Trunks. Oh, yeah. And, well, that scroll isn't the only one with a history change. Let me guess, you want me to do all of them. Just talk to me whenever you're ready. Take your time. All right, Trunks, I guess I'll help you out. All right, folks, so that is the end of today's uh, episode. Next time, we'll actually start the real Saiyan Saga, and we'll jump into uh, all this stuff. So, hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys next time.